Operation Seraph Shield is a returning exotic mission in Destiny 2. Clear it to unlock the craftable Revision Zero Exotic Pulse Rifle. Repeated clears grant perks and catalysts. Legend difficulty guarantees more loot. Legend locks your equipment and makes enemies tougher, but the mission is about the same. Get ready to learn a few mechanics, do some backtracking, and clear big groups of ads. This guide moves fast. Use pause and playback speed as you see fit. Get up to three players and let's dive in. Cross the field without getting blown up. 15 seconds of line of sight to the Seraph Towers will kill you. Use cover to break it, refilling the countdown timer at double speed. You can go invis before it spots you. Use arc speed booster to hoof it, shatter skate, doesn't matter. You can ignore all enemies, just enter the base. Security lasers are one-shot kills. Clear the last room of Fallen and take the yellow scanner augment. Scanner highlights items in yellow to interact with. Hack three computers to call down the launch pods. Enter them and ride to space. Enjoy the view, then bank your scanner in the terminal on the right. These terminals remove your augments and open doors. Again, pick up the scanner and activate three terminals. Enemies spawn between activations. The second one is behind glass. Crawl through a vent to reach it. Bank your scanner across the gap and proceed. In the yellow room, grab the scanner and hack the first console. Enter the overhead vent and slowly sidestep the lasers to the second. When the door opens, exit the room and clear the ads. Identify which of the four consoles behind the glass is highlighted by your scanner. Then bank it in the terminal to open the door on the right. Jump to the balcony and activate the terminal matching the console you scan below. Exit the room and turn left. There are arc turrets on every level. On legend, these will kill you very fast. Take them out and climb until you reach an exit, also guarded by a turret. Clear this whole room of ads and turrets, then pick up the scanner. Upstairs, identify which three terminals are highlighted through the window. Downstairs, look at the highlighted path along the floor. It's a grid, just count the glowing squares. Enter the room, losing your scanner buff, only stepping on the highlighted path. If you step off the path or touch a laser, you'll get cooked alive. Activating an incorrect panel will do the same. Activate three panels matching the consoles above to disable security. Exit through the open door. Clear the small room and claim the second augment, Operator. Spot the red highlighted panel and shoot it to open the door. This area is just clearing enemies and activating panels. First is in the red room on your left. The second is past the next room, which is full of Shriekers, Knights, and Cursed Thralls, and through a vent to the right. You double back past the first panel to find a vent on your left, leading to the third. With all three active, exit through a door on the left of that shrieker room. Clear this final area of ads and turrets, then bank your operator to proceed. Rally up and shoot the red barrels to summon Hrothka. Damage him until he despawns, summoning three brigs. Kill all three and their army of ads to clear the room. On Legend, play this carefully. Sniper shanks and brig attacks are very deadly. Stay near the spawn to pick them off, but don't waste too much ammo on ads that will just respawn. Exit through the red door, running ahead until you're forced to surrender. When prompted, reclaim your weapons and clear the ship. Activate two pink fallen switches to open the door, spawning more enemies each time. Kill the turrets on your way outside. Platform across the hull of the station. Use red lights for guidance and avoid the massive spinning arms. Halfway through, pick up Operator and shoot three panels to extend more platforms. Climb up, stopping to take out the wave of shanks, then enter the cargo bay and clear it out. Bank your Operator to proceed. In his small room, Harothka's back at half health. Well, no mechanics, just kill him to proceed. Next, clear the room and claim Operator. Open two doors with panels on either side of the glass. Behind the first door, bank Operator in the terminal and pick up Scanner. By the way, these actions all spawn ads and exploders. Activate the first console next to you and cross the room to the other open door and activate the second. This opens another door to a yellow room. Inside, kill the turrets on the ceiling and ads below. Note the scanner and yellow console behind glass. Use the terminal to drop scanner, then get operator. Shoot the panel hanging from the ceiling to open the door. Clear that room behind glass, switch to scanner again, and activate the console. Exit past the exploders through the glowing portal. Clear the room and bank your buff. This servitor is immune. Turn right and kill the vandal. Take its blue suppressor augment. While active, stand under a glowing orb and shoot the servitor. Repeat this with the other two nearby orbs. This opens a door, revealing a spinning beacon. Break it to drop the servitor shield and kill it. Run ahead to reach the boss room. Damage Praxis until he goes immune. Lots of ads fill the room. The biggest threat is the Scorn Chieftain and their Void Totems, which make enemies immune. Then find the Suppressor Augment in the catwalks. Just like the Servitor, shoot the boss from under three Suppressor Orbs, left, right, and mid. This reveals three beacons further left, right, and mid. Break them to make Praxis vulnerable. Repeat this process until Praxis is dead. Run to the waypoint on the left to clear the mission. That's your quick guide to the Seraph Shield exotic mission in Destiny 2. If these fast end game guides are helpful, spread the word. I've got guides for every raid and dungeon in the game, including the new Crota's End. And I'm covering all Grandmasters in Season of the Witch. I'll see you then. Get hunting, Guardians.